Hello all and welcome to the brand new episode of Sports Marvel. We're going to discuss about the new season of 21-22 and we're going to talk about the game week 1 which is just a few days away. Now there is a lot of excitement surrounding this game week because the Premier League is back and it is back with the good news that there would be crowd now supporting their teams in in the stadiums and it's going to be a fascinating fascinating scene. uh after after such a distressed time wherein uh, people have been confined to their homes uh teams have played in empty season so it's going to be absolutely brilliant to see crowd coming back and supporting their best teams so let's look at uh, this new season uh, 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 with with optimism with with flair and and with new signings that a lot of clubs have done So we are going to talk about um, specifically about the fantasy Premier League picks who should be in your team what kind of players would be the value addition uh, for this game week we will also talk about uh, promoted team players as well because that is very important for you to know that which are the three new clubs which have been uh, promoted uh, from uh, championship football and what what about their best players and who can you select uh, in your teams then we will also talk about your uh, old horses i would say the people who have done exceedingly well in the last few season and obviously about the captains who can be there uh, for this game week so before we proceed forward i would request you to like subscribe and share to our channel so let's talk about uh, the premier league uh, season facts and uh, just to, just to uh, remind all, all our viewers who are pretty new to premier league now Uh, there are 20 teams who play in Premier League, and out of which three teams get relegated every season, uh, which are replaced by three teams promoted from Championship football. Now, the teams which get uh, which which got unfortunately relegated uh, last time were Sheffield United, West Brom, and Fulham. And uh, if you talk about these clubs, these clubs would now be playing in Championship football, and the top three teams of Championship football, which is Brentford, Norwich City, and Watford, they got promoted this time. So. uh the first and second team in championship football get an automatic promotion and where in the third fourth fifth and sixth team in championship why for one spot where in they they would play each other then there would be another champ, uh, playoff game so out of those four teams which are from third to sixth position only one team would actually join the other uh, uh, top two championship uh, championship team so Norwich City and Watford got automatic promotion and Brentford came through that qualification. So these three teams are there now uh, they would be uh, vying for uh, the Premier League again and uh, specifically talking about uh, some exciting names there. So Brentford is uh, they are playing the first season in, in in Premier League in 75 years so it's going to be a, a magnificent uh, I would say situation for that club how they are going to cope with that we'll just see and what kind of players they have and how can they make difference in your fantasy team we would also discuss about that so if we talk about uh, game week fixtures the game week one fixtures now starting friday night we will have a brentford and arsenal match which is going to take place uh, uh, that would be the first game of the season uh, then we have burnley brighton chelsea crystal palace Crystal Palace uh, again uh, Patrick Vieira the, the Arsenal legend who has just taken over Crystal Palace that would be very interesting to see now Everton with Rafa Benitez how he is going to be uh, and again uh, with with Merseyside rivals or Liverpool uh, where he had so much success uh, especially that 2005 Champions League uh, final so it's going to be uh, interesting to see the developments there then obviously Leicester City uh, against Wolves mind you Leicester has been successful and actually uh, as it stands you know the cha- the transfer window is still on but we feel that leicester city has still been able to uh, you know keep all the flock together and uh, not uh, i mean there has been no player of leicester that has gone uh, for two other teams so that's that's a great kind of a thing for brendan rodgers and so manchester united is another team which you need to look at uh, especially the team which uh, they have now got with jadon sancho and veran uh, about to be confirmed uh, and united uh, finished uh, second in the last season and solskjaer did a did a terrific job uh, with the team and this time they would definitely be fighting for the top spot um, against manchester city so it would be great to see and uh, against uh, leeds uh, 
this game does promise a lot of goals and then newcastle west ham uh, newcastle again uh, did well at the uh, i would say the tail end of the season last time and they should be uh, in a pretty good uh, shape uh, for the season as well norwich and daniel farke uh, a very soulful manager against again uh, 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 you know jurgen klopp's liverpool now this is going to be another fascinating encounter wherein liverpool has actually done pretty well against uh, norwich in the past as well uh, when we remember that luis suarez how he used to uh, score hat tricks against them so it's going to be interesting now i think the pick of uh, the game week would be uh, between spurs and manchester city because spurs uh, as i've said uh, again uh, new energy uh, no no uh, has just taken over spurs which again a pretty charismatic manager but when you say uh, harry kane when you think about harry kane uh, who was about to go to manchester city and still that that the tussle is going on wherein he was not reporting uh, to the pre season training and there was some clarification which came that you know he 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 had planned that holidays and also that would be pretty interesting to see how he uh, how he goes about that business and even if he plays what would be his performance so again a mouth watering contest probably the best uh, for that uh, game and the last one obviously watford and aston villa now aston villa has just lost uh, jack grealish uh, to uh, manchester city but they have strengthened a lot uh, uh, villa they already have a very strong squad so uh, personally i think villa still is in a very good shape uh, for the season so it will be very interesting to see how they perform uh, throughout the course of the season teams which we feel would have an easier fixture would be uh, arsenal who would be playing against brentford chelsea against crystal palace as i said liverpool norwich again with like so mosala uh, sadio mane firmino and obviously all the, all all the midfield uh, prowess which liverpool has i think this is something which they would definitely look forward to now the tight fixtures obviously are watford aston villa and watford has always uh, raised their game when it comes to big matches and i would say that it's a big match for them against aston villa and spurs city as i've said it would be an absolute uh, belter of a game so that's about the first uh, game week when we talk about uh, you know the fixtures now if you talk about the promoted teams uh now we'll talk about brentford norwich city and watford and what are the strengths of their team who are their key players how we feel that uh, you know some of the players would make a lot of difference uh, for their respective team so it is going to be a fascinating to see that so let's talk about brentford uh and now if you consider that in 2009 brentford were playing in league 2 now mind you league 2 league 1 championship and premier league that's a, that's a hierarchy which and i would say that's a, that's a, you know that these are the steps which a team needs to take uh, to get from league 2 to premier league so uh, for to brentford to do it in almost in around 10 years it's a it's a it's a humongous effort right and uh, i think they 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 have they have been pretty consistent in championship for the last two seasons they finished third uh, this season uh, the season which has just ended and then in the, from the play off they won two matches but previous to that also they finished third in the championship but unfortunately they could not qualify so this time brentford should definitely be looking to make their mark and hopefully uh, why for just staying in the premier league the players uh, they have uh, done some very shrewd signing so christopher ajer uh, uh, 13.5 uh, signing from celtic a very good center back somebody who is dependable and in premier league you need those center backs which can give their heart and soul for the team and probably if 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 brentford can keep, keep hold of their back line uh, then they definitely have lot of fire power going forward as well uh, so Uh, the players like Ivan Toni, who was 33 goal scorer, I mean he was a superstar last season also, and I also know that he, I, I, I strongly believe that he is somebody who is going to have a ball of a season, and if he gets a right uh, delivery from uh, from the midfield, uh, like Brian Embuemo, uh, uh, so uh, eight goal chances last time the Frenchman, he is, he is very hard working over the wings, and he he keeps on going so. that would be pretty critical for brentford and those two players should be there in your fantasy team also if you are able to uh, get the get the player suggested so ivan tony definitely yes and uh, embuemo for sure if you have uh, if you if you have liking for brentford the next team we're talking about is norwich city now norwich uh, 
one thing which uh, was if you, because you if you would have uh, followed premier league see norwich got relegated in 2019 and 20 and the sad part was that they re- got relegated hands down just got 21 points in the season they actually it was pretty evident even in the in the, in the mid season that they would definitely be uh, going down uh, and and it really was a downward spiral for them but last season they won the champ- uh, they won the championship they were first and they were pretty clear i think 97 points they got in uh, championship which was a great effort I think Angus Gunn is there as a goalkeeper from Southampton. Billy Gilmore, uh, I, I mean, a very promising player from Chelsea. They have taken on a loan. I think this is one of the most critical players for them, who would be there. And uh, then we talk about uh, Pierre Lees from Melo. Uh, I mean, uh, that's again from Nice. Uh, strong player Ben Gibson. You need to watch out for this player as well from Burnley. So great, shrewd business. the players who are important for norwich would be timo pukki timo pukki uh, the these fin uh, he's uh, i mean uh, the finland international 26 goals four assists again at the core of whatever norwich would do he would be at the forefront along with todd cantwell now todd cantwell is a i would say one of the biggest supplier of goals to uh, to them uh, with six goals and six assists uh, i think he would be one of the most important players and the fulcrum of i would say norwich city and max arens now young englishman uh, you know uh, i would say full back great going forward great tracking back as well does have a goal or assist in its name i think he is going to be a very important player for them also for this season so uh, they have got very strong players right now so it would be interesting to see how they perform in this uh, season Now let's talk about Watford. Now Watford, uh, we I think we are all familiar uh, like we were with Norwich. Watford also has been regular in uh, Premier League. Last time they got relegated after five seasons, they spent in Premier League, but they got thirty-four points and unfortunately they went down. Interestingly, in that season they were the first team to defeat Liverpool. Now Liverpool in that season were absolutely impeccable. There was a comparison with the Arsenal team. of invincibles uh, till 28th game week where liverpool uh, did not uh, lose any game but they defeat uh, did ke- uh, came to uh, watford where in watford not only won the game but they won it hands down 3-0 and that was when ismail sar uh, you know had a had a super game so great things uh, for watford also to build on that and the last season in championship they were second Again, good business. Uh, I think Imran Lawson. A lot of people are talking about this player from Nantes. He's a Moroccan international, a kind of a playmaker who has a goal, assist, everything in its game. So he would be, according to me, he would be somebody who would be in radar of a lot of top uh, Premier League teams as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how he performs. Apart from that, Joshua King uh, again. Uh, he had uh, his exploits uh, when he was with Bournemouth. free transfer i think very fine player still he has a lot of things to give and the player which i want to see is danny rose i mean danny rose is somebody who once was one of the best uh, called left backs for england when he was uh, you know going uh, he was brilliant going forward for tottenham used to attack a lot and also i have to see how he plays there but again a good signing a very fine player the key players uh, A lot of things would depend upon Ismail Sar as well as Jao Pedro. Now, Ismail Sar, one of the most important thing uh, in that regard would be uh, that uh, he is somebody who needs uh, Jao Pedro to assist him, and vice versa. Jao Pedro is a young guy, nineteen years old. Uh, he was playing in Brazil. Now he has come uh, to Championship. He has been talked about in the future as well but ismail sar and jao petro their combination would be critical because they can actually switch uh, the game i mean ismail sar usually plays on right wing but he sometimes would be in forward uh, forward line all the time and uh, jao petro can make a place for him also and he can just uh, you know shift on the left and and those kind of things so i still feel uh, Watford uh, the reason Watford would be able to survive or if if I want you know the best thing which can ha- happen to Watford would be that these two get firing and 
Ismail Sar for me would have a breakthrough season. Uh, 13 goals and 4 assists in championship. I know it is a different uh, ball game when it comes to Premier League, but I believe he is somebody who you need to watch out for. In fact, Liverpool was pretty serious for signing this guy. They couldn't do that. He is going to be one of the most important player for Watford and one of the shining stars of Premier League, according to me. Now here is a look at our uh, game week one fantasy team. Now you definitely can have your own choices and options, but I have done uh, my research and probably that's the reason why I am also suggesting you this team. So for for keeper, I've kept Sanchez as a keeper uh, for Brighton because firstly they are playing against Burnley. Burnley had lead shots uh, if you compare the last time and the last uh, season, and they. Uh, I mean the team against them had uh, clean sheets almost every second game so there is a good chance that Sanchez would be able to keep a clean sheet and hence I am going with him for defense I have uh, Jao Cancelo now Cancelo has been in remarkable for, form for for Manchester City he has been uh, a brilliant player when it comes to uh, playing on the wings playing attacking football and uh, City is known for that and he's somebody who can also give you a clean sheet if if Tottenham uh, misfires even a bit so that's one thing secondly Luke Shaw now Luke Shaw has been uh, I might say a, a, a super player uh, for the last in the last couple of months especially how he finished his season uh, for Manchester United and then how he played uh, for Euro Cup uh, by far uh, I was I would say the best left back uh, in Euro Cup so I expect him to get into uh, you know that mode of uh, giving uh, I mean creating a lot of opportunities getting assist here and there scoring goals like he did in the in the final as well as well as uh, uh, there is obviously a big chance of keeping clean sheet as well and Kofal also very good season last time with West Ham I thought that he should definitely be in there another player which I've picked is uh, Ben White uh, from Arsenal I mean he was earlier with Brighton and that 50 million transfer I believe that he would definitely be starting that game and against uh, Brentford there might be nerves which I believe they can easily uh, exploit that Arsenal and Ben White can uh, can can come up with that clean sheet as well the mid- midfield uh, Bruno Fernandes one of the best uh, in the world how he played for United how he just picked up their game and the fulcrum of doing almost everything for United great player should be there in your team Mo Salah super consistent for Liverpool one of the best uh, players in the world again um, here it, they're showing it as a midfielder but he plays forward and believe me he is going to score a lot of goals uh, this season as well Son somebody I believe that with the uncertainty surrounding Harry Kane he would be somebody who would definitely be the one which uh, Tottenham would be banking on and I think he would have a much larger role this season uh, and and I think that uh, against City he can definitely shine. Ismail Sarah have talked about it earlier again Aston Villa I don't know the motivation right now after Jack Grealish has left how it would be but Sar would be somebody whom I would be definitely banking on to uh, be on the score sheet and or at least assist uh, one or two goals. Bamford uh, last season phenomenal uh, season wonderful player came very close to selection for for English uh, England team as well great uh, goal scoring form he had very consistent penalty taker of course uh, for for Leeds that that's a, that really helps also uh, so definitely a player having worth having look at and obviously uh, uh, Tony as I've said even Tony uh, best player for uh, for Brentford uh, last season very powerful very strong player in his prime arsenal defending wise as i said with ben white i do expect a clean sheet but we all know how arsenal can be vulnerable against a very fast uh, attacker and it is going to be interesting to see now the bench is very strong as well you have uh, timo puki we have uh, from uh, norwich obviously against liverpool uh, Liverpool can concede also because there is no Andy Robertson even uh, when Dijk uh, and Joe Gomez are coming back from injury so I don't know how uh, quickness and sharpness it would be there uh, Dallas can obviously uh, surprise you he would always score goals uh, given a chance that's a way uh, that's a brand of football that Leeds play so it's going to be fascinating uh, Simicus uh, from Liverpool 
again because of andy robertson's injury he would definitely get a lot of uh, matches in his absence and the way he has played in pre season i have uh, no doubt that he would definitely be in for one or two assist uh, come a couple of game weeks so uh, that's that's a team we have uh, picked uh, for this game week now if you talk about the captaincy picks uh, then again there are a lot of choices but we want to just focus on three players we believe that who you should be targeting as a captain it's either mo sala bruno fernandes or timo werner now mo sala as i've said he want to lay a marker uh, very early uh, for this game week and against a norwich side uh, which might struggle and they may have that jitters of actually just getting promoted mo sala can actually uh, run run the show and uh, even if liverpool score two to three goals uh, I think he would have hand in almost all the goals which would be scored. So that is one. Secondly, it is uh, Bruno Fernandes again. As I said, uh, the creative player, uh, penalty taker for for United. Uh, he would be there. And last time when they played against Leeds at their home, we know that they won. I guess eight two uh, they won or maybe seven two. Uh, so there are a lot of goals which they scored, and uh, you have a lot of chances with Bruno Fernandes, especially Rashford being out uh, from the from the uh, from the team because of his operation. So it would be interesting, but I think he would definitely be the one. And Timo Werner, not Timo Werner. As I'm speaking, Chelsea has already announced that uh, they have got back Romelu Lukaku uh, as a forward. So there would be an added pressure on Werner, and I believe that he would be definitely the one. Who would try to uh, stamp his authority on the team and uh, would would give a message that he is also there and he is also a force to reckon with and probably force uh, Thomas Tuchel to think that uh, Werner and uh, Lukaku should actually start together. So it would be interesting to see. So thank you so much. Thank you for listening to us. That's a team which uh, we have uh, selected uh, for this game week. So. we would be selecting teams based on game weeks and we would be making those changes we would be highlighting it to you and uh, we wish that you can just follow our uh, our youtube channel our telegram channel our uh, twitter channel and uh, there would be lot of teams of dream 11 uh, competitions which we, which we would be posting for different matches so thank you so much play responsibly make those changes wisely don't rush into any such decisions just bide your time and ensure that you play this game very judiciously thank you and all the best